Hello, and welcome to the Digni Shield Stool Management System training video. As caregivers, we are faced with many challenges in the hospital environment. Our patient population is aging and acuity is increasing. Because of heightened concerns about healthcare associated infections and antibiotic resistant organisms, there is growing emphasis on infection control protocols and strategies. All of these challenges result in increased care demands. This video will provide training on the DignityShield stool management system, which has been designed to help manage issues related to fecal incontinence and diarrhea for bedridden patients. The BARD Digni Shield Stool Management System, SMS, with odor barrier properties, is intended for fecal management by diverting and collecting liquid or semi-liquid stool to minimize skin contact in bedridden patients and to provide access for the administration of medications. Digni Shield SMS provides a number of benefits to enhance patient care in your ICU. By diverting feces away from the patient's buttocks and perianal area, it may help to reduce skin irritation and breakdown. By containing stool in a closed system, it helps reduce the risk of exposure to potentially infectious microorganisms and may reduce environmental contamination. Using the DignityShield system can improve efficiency by reducing the time and staff required to manage fecal incontinence in more traditional ways, such as underpads or diapers. This also helps to maintain patient dignity. The front label of the DignityShield system includes patient selection parameters and contraindications, which assist in confirming proper utilization and patient selection before opening the product. To use the device, First, remove the Digni Shield from the exterior packaging. Please note this is not a sterile product. There is no need to store in a sterile environment. The Digni Shield stool management system contains a number of components. Documentation stickers, a patient family education flyer, an extended care information flyer with daily care and maintenance instructions, as well as directions for use the fecal catheter, a tube clamp, the fecal collection bag, a 60 cc lure lock syringe, a lubrication syringe, instructions for use, Medier biological odor eliminator, and a quick reference guide for insertion and medication delivery. The Digni Shield catheter consists of a low pressure inflatable contoured cuff which is designed to conform to patient anatomy and facilitate seating. An anti-twist tube constructed from proprietary permalene technology, which is designed to improve drainage and minimize odor. A green inflation port allows for easy inflation with a pilot balloon to provide guidance on cuff pressure. A purple flush port designed to improve drainage and reduce maintenance by evenly dispersing water through the entire length of the catheter. A clear irrigation port designed to decrease cuff obstructions by infusing water directly into the bowel and to allow for administration of medication. A sample port provides closed system access for fecal sample collection and a self-locking connector at the distal end of the catheter is designed to help maintain a closed system along with a self-sealing collection bag. To set up the system, attach the collection bag to the catheter by inserting the socket connector into the collection bag hub. Note that the self-locking valve connector and self-sealing bag hub are designed to maintain a closed system and minimize contact with stool when the bag is replaced. The catheter should be completely unfolded and the collection bag should be extended toward the end of the bed. Prior to patient preparation, a rectal exam should be performed to ensure the patient does not have fecal impaction. Position the patient on his or her side with their knees tucked to their chest in the fetal position. Attach a depressed syringe to the green inflation port. Ensure removal of any air which has been trapped in the cuff or tubing by pulling on the syringe plunger. Detach the syringe and fill with 45 milliliters of water. Next, 
reattach the filled syringe to the green inflation port. To insert the catheter, the cuff must be folded. First, flatten the cuff. Holding the left point of the cuff between your thumb and index finger, fold the top right point of the cuff down and to the left at a 45 degree angle. This will create a cone shape which will allow for easy insertion. Generously coat the perianal area with lubricating jelly from the lubrication syringe. Gently insert the cuff through the anal sphincter until the cuff is beyond the external orifice and is well inside the rectal vault. Once the cuff is inserted, you should inflate it. Slowly depress the syringe plunger on the inflation port. The inflation port has an external pilot balloon which should be used as a guide to determine proper cuff inflation. As the cuff inflates, the pilot balloon also inflates. Once all of the water is infused into the cuff, remove the syringe. Gently pull on the catheter to check that the cuff is secure in the rectum and that it is positioned against the rectal floor. Roll the patient onto their back and position the length of the flexible catheter along the patient's leg. Take note of the position indicator line as a means to measure movement of the device in the patient's rectum. Ideally, the catheter should be placed between the legs and not over or under them. To avoid catheter obstruction, make sure there are no kinks in the catheter and that it is fully extended. Complete the insertion date label located near the piston valve connector or add the orange insertion date sticker. Using the hook or cord, hang the bag at a convenient location at the foot of the bed or on the bedside. Place the bag below the level of the patient's rectum. As the patient's bowel fills with fecal matter, stool is diverted directly down the cuff into the catheter for improved drainage. As stool drains down through the catheter, Bard's proprietary permalene polymer tubing helps minimize blockages and reduces odor. Stool should freely flow through the catheter into the collection bag. However, in the event that the cuff becomes obstructed, the patient's bowel can be irrigated by filling a syringe with water and attaching it to the clear irrigation port. Depress the syringe plunger to irrigate the bowel. Repeat as often as needed to clear the obstruction. Ensure that water drains. If the catheter itself needs to be flushed, attach a syringe filled with water to the purple flush port and depress the plunger. If repeated flushing with the water does not return the flow of stool through the catheter and an obstruction of the device is detected, use of the device should be discontinued. The Digni Shield System's innovative flush mechanism disperses water throughout the entire length of the tube. The system is designed to improve drainage and maintain an unobstructive flow of stool into the collection bag. To obtain a stool sample, remove the white cap from the sample port. Gently kink the catheter segment between the piston valve connector and sample port. Tilt or milk the catheter to collect fecal matter around the sample port. Insert a slip tip syringe into the sample port valve and draw the appropriate sample of fecal matter into the syringe. Secure the white cap back onto the sample port. To remove the collection bag, grab the piston valve connector and gently pull backward on the switch located on the slide of the connector until the piston ejects from the collection bag hub. The piston valve and bag hub should close off automatically in this process to minimize inadvertent exposure to feces. Once the bag is removed, insert the bag cap into the hub connector and dispose of the collection bag in accordance with institutional protocol for disposal of medical waste. Closing the bag not only minimizes spillage, but also reduces contact with potentially infectious microorganisms. If possible, remove the bag from the patient room to eliminate odor. Date the new collection bag and replace it by securely snapping a new bag to the connector. The Digni Shield SMS can also be used to provide access for the administration of liquid rectal medications. 
medication is delivered through the clear irrigation port and then the tubing clamped to allow medication to be retained for the prescribed dwell time. First, gather the supplies. A syringe filled with the prescribed amount of medication. One empty water syringe. A container of room temperature water and the tube clamp that is provided with the product. Position the patient according to your facility's protocol for rectal medication delivery. Locate the clear irrigation port and confirm the line is clear by attaching a lure lock syringe to the port and flushing the system with water. Address any leakage around the cuff prior to moving forward, if present. Locate the tube clamp that comes pre-attached to the piston valve hanger string. Place it near the patient. Attach a lure lock syringe with the medication to be delivered, dosage as indicated and as prescribed by the treating physician, to the clear irrigation port. Elevate the drainage tubing to facilitate medication retention and infuse the prescribed amount of medication. To ensure delivery of medication into the rectum, immediately flush the irrigation line with at least 10 milliliters of water or volume per physician's orders. Note that some medication will reside between the clamp and the device opening. Slide the tube clamp onto the drainage tubing until the drainage tube contacts the hinge. Position the tube clamp as close to the patient's buttocks as possible without touching the patient's skin. Using two hands to facilitate ease of closure, place thumb on thumb to snap the tube clamp shut. Ensure the patient does not lie on the tube clamp. If the clamp is difficult to close or excessive leakage is observed, reposition the tube clamp on the drainage tube. Dispose of the syringe according to facility policy. After the prescribed dwell time, remove the clamp and reattach to the piston valve hanger string. Verify unobstructive flow from the patient into the collection bag. To remove the device, slowly pull back on the plunger to withdraw all fluid from the retention cuff. Once the inflation port pilot balloon is completely flat, gently pull the catheter out of the patient's rectum. If possible, ask the patient to bear down to facilitate removal. Dispose of the used catheter according to hospital policy for contaminated waste. The Digni Shield system's unique combination of features are designed to contain fecal matter and reduce odors, reduce risk of skin breakdown associated with a lack of fecal containment, help to limit patient and nurse exposure to infectious microorganisms, improve nurse efficiency, and maintain patient dignity. By following the instructions of this video, Hopefully you will be able to more effectively manage these issues within the hospital environment. On behalf of Bard Medical, I would like to thank you for taking the time to listen to this training demonstration of the Digni Shield Stool Management System. If you have any questions or require additional information, please contact your local area sales rep. For ordering information, please contact 1-800-526-4455. Please consult product label and insert for any indications, contraindications, hazards, warnings, and directions for use.
Bard, Digni Shield, and Permaline are trademarks and or registered trademarks of CR Bard Inc. or an affiliate. All other trademarks are property of their respective owners.